Tesla looks to have a major electric car arrival on the horizon, as Fisker has revealed its luxury Emotion electric car. Revealed at the Consumer Electronics Show 2018 in Las Vegas, the electric car has been tipped for a range of 400 miles from a single charge and a top speed of 161 mph, enough to bother Tesla's finest machines. Furthermore, according to Fisker, the 143 kWh battery battery pack can suck up enough electricity to deliver 125 miles after a mere 9 minutes of charging. The car is also said to be pretty smart, featuring a level 4 autonomous driving system, which should allow the car to self-drive without a human driver needing to be alert behind the wheel. While the driverless and battery tech may be impressive on paper, in the metal, the Emotion is also an eye-catching machine to behold. It's smothered in swooping angles likely aiding aerodynamics as well as making the car look like something that could hold its own against a Porsche or Corvette. Sharp, angular and almost leaf-like headlamps helps give the Emotion an aggressive front and look. Depending on your aesthetic tastes, the Emotion's design is beautiful or overdone like a new Aston Martin Vantage that's been on the design table a little too long. But whichever camp you fall into the Emotion is certainly striking. Both the front and rear doors feature butterfly designs, that when open really showcase a deceptively roomy interior. Speaking of which, inside the Emotion's plush leather-covered interior you'll find a digital dashboard, a curved and iPad-like infotainment screen with an another touchscreen display in the central dashboard, offering plenty of display real estate for information and entertainment purposes. In the rear, a curved 27-inch is an optional extra for people who want to opt for the chauffeur edition Emotion. There's no word on connectivity or user interface for all the infotainment setup, but we suspect it'll be high on Fisker's agenda given the amount of tech it has already stuffed into the car. All this electric performance, design and technology will weigh in at a price of $129,900, around £96,000, when the Emotion goes on sale in the US in 2019, likely having piqued the attention of Tesla. There are three ways to plant your buttocks in the driver's seat of the Model 3, the mass-market electric vehicle that Tesla CEO Elon Musk has bet the company's fortune on. 1. Go back in time, get a job at Tesla and become one of the lucky employees granted access to the car months ahead of everyone else. 2. Shell out the $1,000 for a Model 3 reservation today, taking your place at the back of a half-million-person long line. 3. Rent a Model 3 on car sharing services like Turo. Considering that around 1,000 Model 3s trickle out of the Tesla factory each week, according to the latest estimates, the last option is probably your best bet. Known as AIRBNB for cars. Turo is a San Francisco company that allows people to rent out their vehicles for cash, a practice known as peer-to-peer -peer car sharing. The company already has at least six Model 3s available for rent now in Florida, Colorado, California and Virginia. But that number will climb to 20 by the end of the month, according to the company's director of communication, Steve Webb and an additional 116 Turo members have signed up to rent out their Model 3s upon delivery. Capitalizing on the car's rarity, people are renting out their Model 3s for a pretty penny. Rental prices range from $213 to $700 a day. Webb said demand for the vehicles, some of which are booked months in advance, is high. He said, one guy hasn't even been able to drive his Model 3 yet because from the moment he got it, he's been renting the car out on Turo. Some owners have found that the early versions of the Model 3 have some bugs. A Turo user named Joseph in his vehicle's description writes, I am making this car available for tour rentals so that more people can experience the EV revolution. Note that the Model 3 software still has some minor bugs and quirks, 
so only technically savvy renters willing to be patient with a car that is still somewhat in beta, please. In some ways, Tesla owners opting to use a car sharing network is hardly surprising. They tend to be early adopters, according to experts, and, aside from the Model 3, Teslas are more than two times as expensive as the average new car in 2017. Musk has touted the benefits of car sharing, noting that the practice offers car owners the chance to monetize a depreciating asset that often sits idle for large chunks of the day. That is one of the reasons Musk has said he wants to create the Tesla network, a ride-sharing fleet of autonomous Teslas that owners rent out when they're not in use. General Motors BMW and Fiat have already launched similar ride-sharing programs in limited areas. Webb said that Toro's marketplace includes about 850 different makes and models, and the average owner makes about $500 a month through the service, which significantly offsets the costs of owning most vehicles on the road. Webb said, if you rent out a Tesla S seven times each month, that pays off the monthly financing fee, noting that some Turo users are generating enough revenue using the service to purchase a second vehicle. Tesla is expected to report new Model 3 production numbers during its quarterly earnings call in February. The Nissan Leaf arguably the first mainstream electric vehicle of the 21st century, is all new for 2018, sporting less eccentric looks than its predecessor while using a more powerful motor and offering better EV range. New driver assist technologies have been added too, including a unique e-pedal system that will change the way you drive. The EV game is all about numbers, so to better understand Nissan's strategy one must consider five key metrics starting with 41. That's the distance in kilometers the average Canadian driver travels on a daily basis, according to Statistics Canada. 41 kilometers. That's it. Consequently, Nissan developed the new Leaf with 241 kilometers of range on a full charge. Determined by the EPA south of the border, this number represents a significant improvement over the outgoing model's 172 kilometers. When you do the math, you realize that a typical commuter could make pretty much six two-way trips from home to work in a 2018 Nissan Leaf before needing to plug it in. Still have range anxiety now? The Leaf's new powertrain not only results in better range, but also livelier performance. Consider these other numbers, 40 and 110. The former refers to the fifth-generation lithium-ion battery's capacity, which is rated at 40 kilowatt-hours, while the latter indicates the output in kilowatts generated by the electric motor, equal to 147 horsepower. For comparison's sake, the old Leaf had a 30 kilowatt-hours battery and an 80 kilowatts, 107 horsepower, motor. You can bet acceleration is now quicker with roughly 8 seconds required to reach 100 km per hour from a standstill versus 10 seconds previously. The final number worth emphasizing is $35,998. That's the starting price of a base 2018 Nissan Leaf S, a bump of $2,000 from 2017. The mid-grade SV model jumps $2,200 while the price increase for the top-line SL is more reasonable at $1,450. Freight and delivery charges remain unchanged at $1,990. All of the above serves to paint a clearer picture of where the 2018 Nissan Leaf fits in a market segment that will expand quickly and substantially based on recent announcements by EV manufacturers. Right now, it is positioned between the Hyundai IO and IQ Electric and Chevrolet Bolt EV. The Korean rival is cheaper at $31,999, but its range is limited to 200 km. Meanwhile, our reigning green car of the year costs a lot more, $43,095, yet it boasts a more potent engine, 150 kW, and allows a range of 383 km. 
Nisa thus claims the new Leaf represents a best of both worlds solution. Of course, performance is only part of the equation. When it comes to styling, Nissan listened to customers and eliminated that polarizing Saurian-like nose flanked by a pair of bulging eyes. The Star Wars-inspired dashboard is gone, as well. The new Nissan Leaf sports a more elegant and mature look, a sign that EVs no longer have to be different to draw interest and gain acceptance. The drive can be just as pleasant as an ordinary car too. This observation is supported by the finely tuned and beautifully heavy electromechanical steering, plus a suspension system that delivers a smooth ride without it feeling too soft. Since the 2018 Nissan LEAF is essentially the same size as the old one, interior space hasn't changed. The front quarters are roomy, while the rear bench seat is more ideally suited to a couple of children, especially if long-legged adults sit up front. Again, the steering column offers tilt adjustment, but nothing in terms of depth. SV and SL models now feature a 7 inches touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility as standard, though basis models make do with a less sophisticated 5 inches display. As for cargo, the aforementioned rear seat doesn't fold completely flat like the ION IQs and you can't fit as much stuff in the Leaf as in a Bolt EV, 849L versus 1602L, but the trunk's opening was smartly designed making it easy to load big and cumbersome items. Those familiar with the Leaf will also notice that the charge port now resides higher and is more upright, facilitating the plug-in process. It's time to talk about three other innovations of the 2018 Nissan LEAF. The first and the most important is the e-pedal system, which lets you accelerate, brake and even immobilize the car using only one pedal. As soon as you is off the gas pedal, regenerative braking kicks in. And when you completely remove your foot from the throttle, the LEAF slows down to a stop and remains stable, even on a hill, until you apply pressure again. The e-pedal is so effective and user-friendly that Nissan claims you could rely on it 90% of the time. In fact, our test drive confirmed it. This system is fortunately not as aggressive as the BMW i3s and it's also a lot more intuitive than similar setups in the IONIQ and Bolt EV. The 2018 Nissan Leaf introduces a technology called ProPilot, available on SV and SL trims. It allows you to follow the car ahead at a preset distance or stay centered in your lane without any intervention. However, the markings on the road need to be clear for the cameras to detect them and the system to work properly. Also, you can totally let go of the steering wheel. Nissan says that ProPilot reduces stress and makes driving easier and more pleasant, but based on our experience this is an overstatement. There's one more upgrade you should feel happier about, a portable charge cable with 120V and 240V options that comes standard with the new LEAF. It's easy to use, plus you no longer need to install a dedicated charging station at home, just a 240V power outlet similar to the one you plug your oven or dryer into. Until we get a LEAF for the 60kWh battery which should come in about a year or two to seriously challenge the Chevy Bolt EV, this new 2018 model remains closer to Hyundai's IONIQ. Both work great as a household second car for running errands, driving the kids to their Boy Scout meetings, visiting grandma and so on. This makes the Leaf a natural substitute for the gasoline-powered Nissan Versa Note, which is somewhat the same size. Given the range, the 2018 Nissan LEAF won't be your first choice for long trips, say the 256 km trek from Montreal to Quebec City. It's still possible, but you'd have to be not in a rush and prepare to make one or two stops along the way to charge the battery. Using a DC fast charge station, 400 v 30 minutes would give you 142 km of range and 40 minutes would increase it to 169. Finding such a station that's not being utilized by someone else precisely when you need it could pose a problem, however. Further evidence that the new LEAF is an EV primarily designed for the urban life.